Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Pac-Man game with Scratch. So first, uh, please go to Scratch website and search Pac-Man with no code. Type in Pac-Man space with space no space code uh, by Jia Lan. Then you open that project and uh, click on the remix button. First, let's create a new sprite called a dot. For its costume, uh, we'll just make a very tiny dot with uh, white or light gray color with no outline. And if you Press the shift key and draw a circle. Um, please make the size of this circle 4 by 4 and put it at the center. So this dot, tiny dot is the master. The master's job is to create clones. First, we'll create the first row of 26 clones. Put the master at a position of x to be negative 138 y to be 155. Then um, every time it creates a clone, it will step to the right side by 11 pixels. Change x by 11. This way you got the first row. And the, this last dot is the, is the master. To move the master to the first position of the second row, we need to set x to negative 138 and change y by negative 11. Then we want to create 29 rows. So uh, we also don't want any dots to be in the walls or in those rectangles. So when we create a clone of myself, we'd like to check only if the master is not touching the boundary of the wall or the inside of the wall. Then we create this clone. So the first color is the boundary of the wall. It's a light, it's the lighter blue. And the second color is the inside color of the wall, which is darker blue. And also we want to hide the master and show the clones. Next, let's create another sprite called Pac-Man. Pac-Man is a yellow circle. And draw a circle. You can press the shift key, then draw a circle. Make the size of this yellow circle 19 by 19, or roughly 
that size. And don't forget to put it at the center. Now convert to bitmap, choose the red color, and click on the brush. Change the brush size to 2 or 3. I'm going to draw a mouth like this. We will name this costume close because Pac-Man's mouth is now closing. Next, we are going to duplicate this costume. This one we are going to call it open. And you can use the same red color to draw a line like this. And now you click on this fill and change the color to clear and press this area and also this area. Now you got an open mouth Pac-Man. So at the beginning, I'd like it to stay at its beginning position, which is 0, negative. 87 and we'd like its mouth to be closed and always pointing to direction 90 degree to start with next thing we can make it, its mouth open close open close but we'd like it all these action to start only after all the dots are laid out. So let's create a new variable called game on for all sprites. Set this variable game on to zero at the beginning of the game and set game on to be one after all the dots get created. Then back to your Pac-Man. Let's do a new script for the costume switching. So for the Pac-Man forever if game on is one, it will switch to next costume and we give a short wait can be 0 0.2 seconds right you see your Pac-Man now is moving its mouth, ready to eat the dots. Next, let's make the Pac-Man move. So I will need this uh, when the green flag clicked forever if game on equal to 1. I just duplicate this part. I need this um, over and over again, so I just duplicate 1. So if, if its red mouth is not touching the wall, it will just keep on moving. So the first color, you want to select this red mouth color. And the second color is the boundary of the wall this lighter blue color. So whenever the mouse color is not touching the boundary color, the Pac-Man will just keep on moving. Move three steps.
right, the Pac-Man move until it hit a wall. Next script, we can add those arrow keys. So if the user press up arrow key, Pac-Man will point in direction zero degree. Let's duplicate this for the down arrow key. That is 180 degree. Then we duplicate these two again. For the right arrow key, which is 90 degree, and left arrow key, which is negative 90 degree. Now we can use this four arrow key to control Pac-Man. So now Pac-Man can go to everywhere in the maze. Next, we can add the code in the dot. Uh, for each dot clone, whenever it touched by the Pac-Man, it will delete itself. So when I start as a clone, forever if Game on is one. If touching Pac Man I will delete myself, delete this clone. We can add some sound whenever the dot gets eaten by the Pac-Man. Here we may change this 0 0.2 second to 0 0.1 second. So the mouse will moving faster to match its movement. Also I found although I have a uh, switch costume to close at the beginning, the mouse is still opened. That could be because this script will get triggered at the beginning of the game. Um, so we can add a set game on to be zero to make sure game is not on. Now it's closed. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.